Well, um, smoking has been a, it, it, well, it was the downfall because, I mean, I could walk miles. Um, now I struggle. Um, I sometimes have to use a chair. Um, I've, at the minute, suffering with a chest infection, which probably I wouldn't have had. Um, I don't think you realise just how quickly a disease can come. And I've said before at 47, I definitely didn't expect a terminal lung cancer and especially small cell, and it is totally related to smoking. It is in the back of my mind, obviously, that there is things I'm never going to see. Um, well, potentially, there might not be grandchildren, I don't know. Do you know, it depends how quickly um, she meets somebody or something like that. I mean, it's not all be all and end all. Under 50, I think it's just pathetic that I'm in this position, but like I say, I did it. Um, I can't change it. The best thing I did was stop. Um, I would never, ever touch a cigarette. And like I've said before, I would urge anybody out there, don't do it. I hope one day that you just see cigarettes in a museum. That used to be a that used to be something that was done that was bad. Hopefully, um, like I said, the treatment seems to be going well. Um, I can hold like this for quite a while. Um, you don't know, do you, what's around the corner? I mean, they're coming up with new drugs all the time. Uh, we'll give anything a go. Um, but I'm positive. Your doctor seems positive and all you can do is live with it. You get up every day, give it your best shot and that's it. Just carry on. <laughs>